Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to talk about one of the request which is uh, done by one of my subscriber. And his request is very simple, I think he's stuck somewhere. So I'm creating video for him. The requirement is very simple. According to him, he is having a table. And in the table he has a data and in the data he has one column. And that column has a flag named as status like success or failure. So based on the status, he wants to get a color, right? If it is a success, then he should return a green. And if it is a fail, it, sh uh, it should return a red color. So I'm going to show you how do we do that with a case statement, right? Great. So before that, we'll just create one table, simply create table test to ID int then name H int and here is a status ID I can see status ID is int so this is in simple table created test two will load two rows in the table one with success ID is one, name is she, and age is 22. Status ID is one. Right here, one represents success. And another row. Okay, so these are two row which I am going to insert into the table. So let's select this. Okay, say it is correct. Then do insert data insert successfully. Then just do the select. Select start from this table. Just want to see the data is loaded or not. Yeah, there I can see the data is loaded. Now his requirement is he want to get back a state. He want get back color code so I would do uh, I will do like this case when was the column name status ID equal to one then color code should be green when status ID is equal to what is equal to zero here we haven't updated just do update failure here I can see when status code is 0 then red here you can pass the hex code also but I am simply writing the name of a color so it's an it's an easy for us right just then bring in and you are done right so what you need to do you just need to select this and let's run the code now you can see these are these are the four columns which were already present right and this is a new column green red if the status is one then you would see green if status is zero you would see the red I can name it as color code great now this is a query which will return us the color code as an output. What you need to do, you need to take this result as a data set into the application. Let's say if you are using a .NET application, ASP or C Sharp, then you need to say, you need to take this data into the result set and you need to process the data row by row. And if you are showing this data onto the uh, UI in a, in a greedy view or, or any kind of um, structure thing there just you need to take the color as a value and assign this value to the background color if you want to change the background color if it is success and if you want to say it's a text color you can say 
is unread. Okay, so I hope you guys understood uh, how do we change the uh, color code based on the status ID, right? And if you guys like and enjoyed our video, please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.